Hello, my name is Tobias Rödiger and I welcome you to the presentation of our paper Ear Rumble, Discrete Hands and Eyes Free Input by Voluntary Tensor Tympany Muscle Contraction. Smart ear walls are becoming a ubiquitous platform with an ever-growing number of sensing capabilities, such as body motion, heart rate, or even brain monitoring features. Traditionally, interaction on such earborne devices occurs by performing input either directly on the ear or in the immediate vicinity, such as on the ear rim or the face of the user. In our paper, we take a completely different approach. We rely on the tensor tympani muscle, which is the second smallest muscle found in the human body. It is located in the middle ear, and some people can contract it voluntarily to induce a dull rumbling sound, a phenomena also known as ear rumbling. So we ask ourselves, can we use the rumbling ability for discrete interaction? Hence, we exploit the viability of tensor tympani contraction developed a sensing device that can be embedded into a standard earbud form factor, implemented a recognition pipeline, and conducted an application study using the ear rumble technique. We applied a lab-validated online questionnaire and found out that 36 to 50% of the population possessed the rumbling ability. Out of those, over 80% could perform ear rumbling in isolation to any other movement, and over 85% could perform rumbling in quick succession and also for prolonged times. So ear rumbling proved to be a great opportunity for interaction. As the ear drum displaces inward during contraction of the tensor tympani, a pressure change can be observed in the sealed ear canal of the user. Therefore, we built an in-ear pressure sensing device that also has audio capabilities. We initially proposed three simple gestures, a rumble, which is a quick contraction of the tensor tympani, a double rumble by contracting the tensor tympani twice in quick succession, and a hold rumble by holding the tensor tympani contracted for about one second. We also asked participants to perform multiple rumbles over the duration of five seconds to initially explore the potential for more complex interaction, such as beat synchronization. From related work, we knew that changes in facial expression may also induce pressure changes in the ear canal, so we also collected a set of related activities. In total, we recruited 16 participants. Using the collected data, we built our recognition pipeline. We use a threshold-based approach for activity detection and then extract 35 features from each ear canal. We apply gradient boosted decision trees for the final gesture prediction and achieve 95% overall accuracy. We then applied the rumble technique in two applications, a music player and for handling incoming phone calls. And we compared our technique to traditional input based on buttons. Six users preferred using rumbling for interaction, but they wished for more immediate feedback as the current response time of our recognition pipeline is about 400 milliseconds. In our small sample, we could not identify any significant differences for the cognitive load. However, our results greatly highlighted the discrete nature of the interaction technique. In this video, you can see myself soldering an SMD part while skipping the song using ear rumble, which also underlines why users describe the technique as magical and almost telepathic. So in conclusion, ear rumble proved to be a viable, discrete and easy to use technique with ear balls that can be embedded into a standard earbud form factor. If you're interested in more details such as ease of use, comfort, details on the recognition pipeline or also reaction times, please refer to our paper. Thank you.